salvation of the people, says the Lord, to the tribe to them of the Hebrews says, I will be them, I will be their Lord together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Especially, we welcome those that are watching uh, on the YouTube channel. My brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our sins so we can prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Amen. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, Grant that by keeping our precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is a king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked there is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your Lead me in the path of your commands, 
for in it I delight. I am the Lord and obey your And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. God be the Lord and obey your commands. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise well, I woke up today very excited. September 22nd, it is the first day of fall, so autumn begins, one of my favorite seasons. And um, as I reflect on fall, I always go back to this very special reflection that uh, I read on the changing leaves on trees, although in L.A. we don't really get it, but uh, I think we could imagine it. And the reflection brings us to this understanding that uh, the changing of the leaves on a tree are a signal and a symbol for us to recognize that within us, we're always changing. And, and at the heart of change is this sort of desire to want to get closer to our truest self, which is a connection with God, the spiritual life. But in order to do that, we have to let go. We have to make space. We have to detach from thoughts, habits, sometimes people, situations, circumstances that have been part of us just like those leaves. The beauty about seeing these uh, fall-like leaves, these fall leaves on these trees is that at first glance, somebody may say, you know, maybe somebody who doesn't understand the process of fall may say, wow, that tree's dying. Or look at it, it looks kind of ugly. It's got yellow and orange. It lost its luster. It lost its, its sheen. It's no longer green and shiny and beautiful. But we all know that within that tree, there's something beautiful happening. It's letting go. It's in the process of dying, of letting go of all of these leaves, because at the heart of the tree, he or she understands that something will sprout new within. Only, only if she detaches and lets these leaves go. In the gospel today, Jesus says that whoever hears the word of God is the son and the brother, the sister, the relative of Jesus. Let us this fall hear the word of God. But I think most importantly, as we begin this autumn season, let us begin to detach from those other words that live within us so that we can attach and create new leaves in our tree for this spring. You know, for a lot of us, detachment and death and letting go is probably the hardest part of spirituality. It's no mistake that the Christian symbol of the cross stands as a prominent symbol for us. Because in that symbol, it promises that detachment, letting go, death is not futile. It gives new life. So let us go forward this fall and detach a little bit and let those leaves fall to the ground so that we can sprout something new.
feast. Let us now gather our prayers before our loving God. For all the leaders of the church, may they be ministers of healing and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. For the gift of peace may be granted to all in peril of war, violence, and fear throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Today we pray in a special way for David Lemos, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Let's take a few moments and pause in silence to offer those intentions that we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise is add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company with the choir of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and when he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you indeed of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now together profess the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant to us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy.
Let's take a few moments in silence to ask our Lord to give us the grace to let go, to make space for new life in our hearts and in our lives this fall. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. So happy fall, everyone. May God grant us the ability to uh, surrender and let go. And um, I'm happy because Starbucks has their, their pumpkin spice latte starting today, so that's really why I'm excited today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to announce the good news of Jesus Christ.